Welcome back! Welcome to the second part of the video guide. In this video, we will continue our last plane and make it controllable. So you ask, how do I adjust and control the aircraft's flight? Well, the primary wings on an aircraft have aileron control surfaces. When the pilot rolls the plane, one aileron tilts down, which causes it to produce more lift. The other aileron tilts up, which causes it to produce less lift. This imbalance in force causes the plane to roll. You may use simple steering hinge for the control surface. But no, that's too primitive and would be harder to control. Instead, we will use a simple return to center steering method using combination of swivel joint, hinge, and pistons. Make sure the pistons can't move and assign the two pistons to different keys. And then, check if that works. Now, it can become an aileron if you add a wing panel on it. Roll is quite important because planes will stay in the air longer if they can correct itself, which most besiegers never figure that and ignore roll control on their flying machine. This location would be great for ailerons. Let's move the back coaxial rotor to the front to make space for the steering mechanism. another swivel joint on the front and connect the swivel joint to the starting block on the back. Don't forget to brace them to make it more stable. Then add new propellers on them. Don't forget to make sure they are counter-rotating correctly. Now, add the mechanism. And add two or more wing panels since ailerons works best the further it located from the z-axis. Brace it to make it more stable. Since these mechanisms are heavy, your aircraft will descend and you'll probably need to add more speed on the rotor. Set toggle on four of the wheel so they stay spinning when we are not accelerating. Disable auto brake because we don't want plane brake suddenly in mid air. And set the rest to your accelerate button. That should do it. Let's delete the already placed stabilizer since next we will add the elevator control surface on the horizontal stabilizer. Elevator control will cause the nose of the plane tilt upwards or downwards when you tilt it. Its mechanism is similar to aileron control surface, but you need two hinges instead of swivel joint. Then, put the vertical stabilizer back. Since we have added weight to the back of the aircraft, we need extra lift if we want the aircraft to fly properly. So, add some aerodynamic propellers. Elevator control works best the further it located from the center of mass X axis. So, place it on the back. Add some wheels and back to the ground because we want to test its takeoff capability. Now, 
You can also add some ballast in the front to shift the center of mass forward. Keep adding more propellers until the aircraft stops rapidly pitching up. That should do it. It kinda resembles a soft wheeled camel, the British First World War biplane fighter. So, let's name it that. Well, after everything is good, you can start to add more details or weapons on your new aircraft. That's it! You know, you can do much more if you have access to much. You can build realistic looking aircraft, complex but compact vehicles, and much more advanced mechanism. Once you've learned to master them all, you won't ever have a problem building anything ever again. Until then, share this guide to your fellow engineers so we can rule visage skies together. Any question? Need help with anything? Just write in the comments below. But wait, there's more! We will delve deeper into the world of artist's theory in the third part. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe.